All right. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. So, yeah, I think it is recording. Um, I uploaded a video about uh, VirtualBox com error. Uh, I worked around here with my uh, firing it up as root. Oh, oops. I think I used the wrong password here. It's that safe that even I don't know it. Yeah, there it goes. You see, so that works. Dran. But that's not what we want. We don't want to run it as root. So we go back in here, open it here, and we get the error message. Oh no. Okay, where is it? We go in home, put the box. Da, 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 da. One more. Okay, seems we have to. Ah, seems we have to live with that. Yeah, so we just open that here up. Um, see, I'm I'm <coughs> a little bit lazy. Yeah, you can ever do everything by um, a terminal. Uh, but here, warning: you are using this as root. Oh, I'm so rude. Da -da 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 -da. Let's see what I can get. Work. All right. So in a virtual box, and what does it say? Uh, VirtualBox dot XML. VirtualBox dot XML. So we have two. Let's see. I delete this. Because if I don't go as root, I won't be able to open it up. So and here, that's the normal virtual box. Hey, look at this! Wow, we're back in business. Duran. So, what I'm going to do now is, um, I think I just go here in properties. Does it show? Yeah. And I remove my GKSU. Oop. So, while the first video was a workaround for very difficult uh, things, because it could be that this just doesn't work for you, right? It should work, but it could not work. It is possible that it just doesn't work. And in order to help you, um, I leave the first video called Workaround. I changed the end, actually, not to fix uh, I called it Workaround, like I called it actually in the video itself. So this one will be the actual fix. And now we go and add the machine. Uh, no. What's that? All the invisible files. They confuse me. Calculate Linux, not yet. Yeah. How about we open this here? Drain. Oh, no, you're clicking too much, Dirk. So, let's see. Settings, is it all set? All right. System, I have two processors, blah, 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 storage. Audio, bridge adapter, we still have that. USB, boink, boink, boink. Should be all good. Let's see, we fire it up. Control F, right control F. So I lost a little bit my settings that were most likely in the XML file. But who cares? At least it's running again. So I use this Windows 7 virtual machine for things where I really need some Windows stuff. Like from the driving instructor, they have certain files which only work with um, the original Windows Explorer and things like that. So, yeah, and it's all here. And I got my office thing here, just in case I need the original one. So I can file it up and have the office stuff hanging here. So as you see, Word 2007. So that's what I still have. And I only use it if I really, really have to. Usually I don't, because uh, there's not much anymore that you really need to use it. So, click that away. We saw that uh, VirtualBox is running just fine. Hooray! So that's my VirtualBox fix. So I call that now the exactly the same video what I did before. But I'm going to call this, uh, not call this, yeah, we'll, on the end I will say fix and not workaround because this is the fix. Um, by the way, I'm still excited about Redcore. I'm still excited about Salient OS because the uh, Open box version, then Slackle, yeah, Slackle, I'm interested in this. And where's Selex? Selex, 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 Selex. Oh, it's not here yet. Yeah, I have to see the. Oh, that's good then. I have to do the installation for it. And. Oh, look at the changes. I get blinded. Mm. 
I would have to do uh, the installation video then. Fail to open virtual machine, blah blah blah. Uh, so what you say then is you just make a new one. How uh, was it called? I'll show that one more time because it's always good to know, right? Oh. Salient. Was it Salient OS? I think I tried, yeah. Salient OS. And I think... What was Salient OS built on again? Um, that was an open box version and I think it was... Oh, hold on, we're in Calculate Linux, but... Duran! I have my uh, Synology clients running here. Wonderful there. At least they were open. Yeah, here they are. Okay, got my version thing, got that. What's my Synology thingy? Open up. Federal agent coming in. Ah, here it is already. It's a node station. Not too sure why it took so long. Maybe because it was synchronizing in the background. Uh, where's my Linux stuff? Linux, Linux, Linux. Uh, my notebooks, Linux. See, Linux for Debian. Okay, that was Debian. I did not think it was Debian. Salix, Salix is what I want to do. But however, we see now here how do we get uh, uh, use an existing hard drive. You see, that's what I didn't want to do. Uh, I didn't go for Salient. Uh, for what reason soever, we don't care really what reason it is, we just want to have it working right. So I, I do a new machine but use an existing virtual hard disk where I did already the installation. Then like usual you go in uh, system, processors, I always use two, motherboard, we do not need a floppy, display, it gets always the full swing here, drain, uh, enable 3D, storage, CLMS is in, we got that. Audio is pulled, that's good, network, got to go to a bridge, and then serial port, USB shared folder. Um, I think I have to show you guys how to mount actually the shared folder. i um, surprised nobody complained until now, haha, <laughs> because when you say auto mount here, nothing really happens, except you would run Windows, and who in the world would do that voluntary, if you don't need to, right? So, now we fire up Zealand OS, right control F, drain, there it is, look at this! There yeah, goes Zealand OS, and that is the open box Debian install, I think. I'm really interested in Redcore because it's Gen 2. Of course, it cannot come close to my calculated Linux. Uh, but here, guys, that's what's coming up. Um, I really will have something like um, what is it called? Um, a Slackware version on, and I think I go for. Uh, Salix. Salix. Which one was it? Yeah, that's a Debian thing here. Uh, so it's established. But you see now this is working, right? So no biggie. So if you ever have trouble to get back into the virtual box thing, uh, not a big deal. Uh, oh, oh, where is it? I have to open my. That goes faster now. So we just did it. And I would like to open. My notebooks, Linux, Celix. Uh, I think that's the Slackware, right? That's the one I want to do. I think. Yeah, let me have a look. I'll go in my ISO files. I know this should be a short video, so you can cut off if you just had the virtual box trouble. Uh, Slackware, I liked it. Celix uh, 64 XFCE. That's what I'm going to most likely ins I install it first in the virtual box to see how it goes, what it does. Um, I tried to install this soon. I, I ordered actually now the USB hub uh, switch so that I can use my Voyager PC and install it on real hardware afterwards. And then we see how that goes. If I like it and if it's as close uh, to Slackware as Calculate Linux is to Gen2, then it's a good thing. Then I can just run it or maybe I do a Slackware install. I'm not sure. I will give Salix first a chance. If it does what I think it does, I just keep it. Uh, because I still can access all the Slackware stuff and I'm pretty excited because Calculate Linux is a rolling release so even there's a low risk but there's still a little risk that something might not happen like uh, not, might not work uh, most times like what you just saw with VirtualBox it just boot something up 
Uh, not a fault from Gen 2, not a fault from Calculate Linux. It just happens every now and then. This failure is from 2012 till now, 2017. It still shows and pops up and doesn't get fixed or avoided. However, then, then you get Slugware, which is uh, uh, makes Debian stable almost ridiculous because I think Slugware is by far more stable. Uh, yes, it's a little bit more handy work, but uh, as I said, always just one time, right? And after that, it's doing okay. So I'm actually getting really excited uh, just having uh, the Slugware running and my Calculate Linux. My Calculate Linux is my daily driver. The Slugware will be for testing, playing around like the Salix. Uh, I think that will be worthwhile exploring. I would like to keep my XSFCE de desktop, but Slugware I think should still stick with uh, 4.8 KDE or something like that. So that would be worthwhile too, just to have a look. and. Yeah, I'm getting really excited. Um, I should cut this off now because I get carried away. Why I'm not don't want to have Fedora because it takes you forever just to get an uh, Nvidia driver installed, stuff like that. Um, nevertheless, earlier later I will come close to it and we'll talk about it. But for now, guys, this is VirtualBox. How you uh, fix it? You just get your error message, then you check in which folder is your VirtualBox uh, XML file. Go there, delete it. And then after that you just fire VirtualBox, like here now, it just fires up. Uh, I got this warning always, it has always been there. One day I actually will read it. So and then you have your VirtualBox here, and you should be fine. I hope that helps at least one person, because there are uh, Sergi, he gave me some links to videos, which talked about this too, and showed the kind of same solution. Um, funny thing is, when I searched for a solution for VirtualBox com error, I could not find these videos for what reason soever. So I hope that my video is more successful, not because to grow the channel. Uh, I hope the channel grows anyway, or at least uh, I say every video where what I make, if it helps one person, it was worthwhile. Uh, there's no monetary monetizing in this channel. There will be no advertisement switch off if I have a saying in it, and I think for now I have. So I've never switched uh, advertising on. I don't want you to see Josh all day long. <coughs> so. Uh, I hope that video will be found more so that people can find a solution and don't have to go from forum to forum and ask and do and stuff and can't find it. However, this is the not workaround, that it's the actual fix for now. Until it happened again, then you fix it the same way and you will be totally fine. Okay guys, Merry Christmas. I might still make a video before New Year. Uh, if not, then I wish you guys a Happy New Year. And I would see your latest in 2018. But I hope I'm going to make another video before that. Okay. All right, guys. So this is it. Uh, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Bye-bye. That didn't switch off. That didn't switch off either. Uh, okay. I think I have to switch it off the ordinary way. Where are you? Sure. Yeah. And bye-bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.